So good morning. So here in this class we are going to uh, see how to find the stable and unstable region by using the Smith chart for an RF amplifier circuit. So here in this example the S parameter of the effect amplifier uh, has been given which is operating at 2 gigahertz which is operating at 2 gigahertz and uh, the biasing uh, voltage is given as VGS biasing voltage is given as VGS with the 4 uh, here for this um, uh, pet amplifier there are uh, S parameter 4 S parameter has been given S parameter has been given so by using this S, S, uh, these S parameter along with the frequency of 2 gigahertz it is asked to find whether the given effect parameter uh, amplifier is stable or not so to find the stability of this RF amplifier we have to use the two types of test one is the K delta test or the mu test so here in this example here these are all the formulas which is used for K delta and mu test in this example we are going to uh, use the first test which is called as K delta test here for to uh, test the amplifier stability using the K delta test we have to calculate the value of del and K which is given by this e e equation that is modulus of del is equal to modulus of S11 S22 minus S12 S21 and K is equal to 1 minus S11 whole square minus S22 whole square plus del square divided by 2 into S12 and S21 after finding this k and delta by using this expression we have to consider the condition we have to consider the check the condition for k and delta for this r of amplitude to be stable the k should be greater than 1 and del should be less than 1 right so k should be greater than 1 and del should be less than 1 right so here if the particular given amplifier satisfies these two conditions that is k greater than 1 and del less than 1 then we can say that the given amplifier is unconditionally stable that means irrespective of the any change in the load once these two conditions are satisfied the given amplifier will be in a stable state forever right so it does not depending upon any condition that is a mini for unconditional stable but here in these two condition that is k greater than 1 and del less than 1 if any one of the condition is does not satisfy it means then the amplifier can be classified as conditionally stable or potentially unstable which means that conditionally stable means for some set of values it will be in a conditioned state and some set of value it will be in an unconditional state so for this example problem to solve first we have to calculate the delta and k and then we have to check the condition whether it is k greater than 1 or del less than 1 so for this example here you see here k value is 0 0.607 which is less than 1 and del value is 0 0.696 which is less than 1 but for the amplifier to be conditionally unconditionally stable k should be greater than 1 and del should be less than 1 here for this given example k condition is not satisfied so so by only one among the two condition one condition is satisfying and the another condition is not satisfying so which indicate that the given amplifier is potentially instable in such cases only we have to go for smith chart in order to classify the step stable position and the unstable position right if the by using the set of s parameter if we calculate the k and delta and check the condition if both the conditions are satisfied you can write the given amplifier is unconditionally stable for the for unconditionally stable condition there is no need to go for this mid chart but if any one of the condition is satisfied among k and delta then you can say that the given amplifier is potentially unstable if the amplifier is potentially unstable instable or potentially unstable condition you have to go for some chart in order to classify the stable region 
from the unstable region so to go for the uh, smith chart we have to draw two types of circle one is the input circle and the another one is the output circles those two are called as stability circle so to uh, find, draw the input and output circle we are in need of one center and one radius for each circle so for input stability circle we have need of cs that is equal to source uh, input stability circle center that is source center and we are in need of radius that is equal to rs which represent the radius of the input stability circle and the cs and the rs has been calculated by using this expression you can <coughs> go through the expression and similarly to draw the output stability circle we are in need of load circle center cl and load circle radius that is rs right so after calculating the value of cl rs cs rs we can able to uh, draw the stability circle in the set chart let us first have the um, procedure or the steps to how to draw the input stability circle so to draw the input stability circle first we have to take the value of center that is here for this problem it is equal to 1.132 angle 68 so first we have to mark the angle on this smith chart let us come to the smith chart now so it is equal to 1.132 angle of 68 it is given no so here so, so from this here you have to uh, check the angle right so here uh, and uh, here this is the angle point right 10 20 30 and this is a point 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 here so here the angle for us it is equal to uh, angle for us it is equal to point 68 1.132.68 for cs no so to draw the input circuit circle we have to first mark the angle of 68 point this is the angle of 68 point right so this is the angle of 68 point so so after marking this angle of 68 on this point you have to draw this line you have to draw this line by connecting the center of the smith chart and the point you have marked at angle 68 so this is the line which connecting the center of the smith chart and the angle of 68 point right so the, now angle is over then you have to see the magnitude value so the magnitude value is 1.132 so to mark these magnitude values you have to use the, uh, the scale which is given in the bottom of the smith chart you have to use the uh, scale which is given in the bottom of the smith chart right usually in the bottom of the smith chart the scale is given at the center you will be having the zero so uh, the, some four uh, the, uh, four uh, scale readings are given at the bottom uh, the, at the top scale you will be having z, uh, the, at the center it will be started from 0 and point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 up to 1 it will be extended so that scale you have to use to mark all the measurement uh, scale reading so in that reading 0 to so the uh, right half of the scale it will be start from 0 at the center and it will be ended at 1 at the right corner so the maximum scale reading is 1 only but for this problem we are in need of 1.132 so this 1.132 has been divided into two steps with this measurement of 1 at one measurement and 0.132 at the second measurement so to take the uh, first measurement of 1 so you have to use the compass and you have to fix the compass one point at the 0 and the another needle at the 1 so you have to take that compass measurement in the bottom reading so by having this compass measurement so by putting the compass one end at the smith chart center and the another end you have to draw the arc on the line which you have drawn at the angle 68 so if you take the measurement exactly that measurement should be cut the inner circle this is the, uh, it should be cut at this point inner circle point on the line which you have drawn for angle 68 right this is the first measurement of value 1 then here the remaining uh, value is 1 we have uh, completed and the remaining is 0 0.132 similarly in the bottom scale you have to take the you have to 
put the compass 1 end at 0 then you have to mark 0.14 in the compass by taking that compass measurement by putting one end of the compass at the arc which you have drawn previously by taking the one measurement and the another end you have to uh, 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 make an arc in the line you have extended right line you have drawn for the angle 68 so that point will give the center of the source that is equal to cs here right then so the center we have marked now so you have to use the radius in order to draw the circle that is so simple so the given for the given problem the radius value is 0 0.199 which is approximately equal to 0 0.2 so again in the bottom scale you have to mark the uh, 0.2 from the comp uh, by using the compass by taking that compass measurement by uh, putting one one um, lead of the compass in the CS point, you can draw this circle with the radius of 0 0.2, right? So, this is the way how to draw the stability circle. That is, so far we have completed the input stability circle. Similarly, you have to uh, draw the output stability circle. So, what we have to do? So, output stability circle has been calculated by using these two values. First, you have to mark the angle of 47. So, the angle of 47 uh, point you have to mark, then you have to draw the line by connecting the center of the smith chart and the angle 47 point by projecting the line out of the smith chart then you have to mark uh, the measurement of one in compass by using the bottom scale by using that compass measurement from the center of the smith chart you have to put the arc you have to put the arc in the line you have drawn for angle 47 after that you have to take the measurement of 0.361 in the bottom scale by using the compass by using that measurement uh, where, where you have put the previous arc, right? Uh, you, uh, you have to fix the compass one lead at that point. Then you have to put one more arc in the line drawn in for the angle 47 for the measurement of 0.361. So that point will give the ready uh, angle. Uh, that point will give the center CL. Again, you have to mark 0.5 as the radius in the bottom scale. So by putting the compass one lead at CL by taking the radius of 0.5 with the compass measure you can draw the circle which is called as the output stability circle it will be looking like this right so after drawing the stability circles of input and output you can differentiate the stable and unstable region so here the unstable regions can has been uh, classified as the uh, portion of the input and output stability circle which has been overlapped with this chart right so here the stated area which represent the unstable region that is the portion of the in input stability circle and output stability circle region that is overlapped within the smith chart within the inner uh, circle of the smith chart that is called as unstable region and here in the remaining portion of the entire smith chart the amplifier will be in a stable condition like that you can able to conclude right you can able to conclude and you can able to define the stable and unstable region of the given fed amplifier